I got the green light here. Okay. So we've wanted to talk about this since you walked into the studio. Um, I have a bit of breaking news here. This is from the New York Times. Roger Goodell is expected to fine Jerry Jones millions of dollars. The gist of the story is that because of his fight over the compensation package for Roger Goodell and because of his fight against the suspension for Ezekiel Elliott, Roger Goodell is poised to fine Jerry Jones in the millions of dollars. Now, Dan, this is a this has been actually like in the back of my mind, like every time we've been talking for the past two minutes, like I want to talk about this. This right. is huge, man. Yeah. This is massive. But I think I think the thing you have to understand here is it'll look like Roger Goodell's mad at Jerry Jones for for sort of being mean to him about the contract. And th- that may well be, but Roger Goodell's not going to impose a multi million dollar fine on a team owner uh unless the other team owners are okay with it. And what happened with Jerry Jones in terms of this commissioner contract situation was he really upset a lot of other NFL owners coming in and threatening to sue them if they did the contract. I mean, you know, hire, hiring or retaining an attorney to sue them if they did the contract uh, without presenting it to the wider body. I, I talked with team owners at the time, and they were very upset. They said, Jerry, this is not how you do business in our league. It's not how we deal with each other. So without knowing all the background, um, if Roger Goodell is going to impose a fine like this, I think the general public can can and should understand that maybe it generated from the body of owners as opposed to just Roger Goodell wanting to find someone at whom he was angry. Right, because it looks, on the surface, as you pointed out, it looks like revenge. It looks like right. retribution for coming after Roger Goodell. Which, you know, and, and, and all throughout the whole situation with the contract, Jerry Jones publicly said... Uh, this is not retribution for the Ezekiel Elliott matter, but no one believed him. I mean, no one in, in the league believed what he was saying. They all thought it had because because his tone on the contract changed the minute Ezekiel Elliott was suspended. So we have a situation where an owner has spoken out publicly against the league on a matter involving player discipline, and an owner has has tried to undermine, you know, the league's desire to get a, a contract done with its commissioner. And uh, if that's the case, then you have an owner that's acted in the judgment of other owners. Uh, not in the best interest of the league, and, and he would be subject to punishment. God, this civil war just continues. I have no <laughs> idea how this plays out, man. The most powerful owner in the NFL in a full-on fight, to your point, not necessarily with the commissioner of the NFL at this point. That's his fellow owners. That's right. who's behind this right here. Again, they were very upset. This, the way Jerry Jones was acting last summer and fall with regard to the commissioner's contract extension once Ezekiel Elliott was suspended really aggravated the owners that were on that committee that felt like they had negotiated and completed a deal and were ready to do it, and they felt like Jerry Jones was coming in after the fact and trying to mess it up for a personal reason. And Threatening to sue your fellow owner, that's like the worst thing you can say to these NFL owners. It reminds them of Al Davis, who, who drove them all crazy years ago. They exist by virtue of the concept of, of we're all in this together. You know, we all, and and if, if one of them is going off the reservation on, a, on, a, on an uh, issue like this, it, it aggravates them. Again, credit to Ken Belson, New York Times writer. It's up on the New York Times right now. Roger Goodell expected to fine Jerry Jones millions of dollars.